Okay, the next part of our discussion in federalism has to do with something that's also known as fiscal federalism. And I've mentioned it before in some of the other lessons, the way the federal government has gained um, access to policy that normally is reserved to the states, like education, for example. And so we'll be looking at that, and that has to do with something called grants. All right, so 1.40, that's our card. We only got like six cards left in the entire unit, um, unit one. All right, grants, flip over backside. So a grant is, by the way, a couple of things. You may see this name something else. Sometimes it's called a grant in aid or an aid program, some sort of grant in aid or aid program. can also be called that. We just call them grants. Um, and, and it's a general term. Okay, a grant is just a generic term that means some financial award given from the federal government to the states. Again, it's a generic term, grant. There's specific types of grants we'll look at, but this is a generic term. It just means some sort of financial award that's given from the federal government to the states. For example, one of the most famous ones is highway grants. And uh, in the early 1980s, the federal government said that if you want highway grants states, then you must raise your uh, drinking age to 21. And if you don't raise it to 21, then you don't get the grants. Like That's all there is to it. Um, every state took the grants and raised the drinking age to 21, except Louisiana. And eventually, by the late 80s, Louisiana even submitted and because they they needed the money for the roads, and so eventually they gave in as well. So the federal government has a lot of power using these grants in order to get at access to policy, changing policy that otherwise it wouldn't have access to, like making a drinking age. That's a state thing. I mean, it's not in the Constitution. It's not enumerated. So how does the federal government influence it? Using grants. All right. Um, by the way, this is also called, as I mentioned earlier, fiscal federalism because fiscal has to do with money. So fiscal federalism means how does this relationship between this federal government and the states get balanced out and they're going to use money to do it. They're going to, you know, and by the way, in the favor of the federal government having power. Um, by the way, you don't have to write this, don't write this, but in the 19th century, the earliest federal grants were given to states to provide for a well-maintained militia. So that was the first examples of grants were given. And, you know, this usually has to do with, you know, maybe some weaponry and, and uh, you know, things like that. All right. A couple of very specific grants. The first specific type of grant that you need to know, 1.41, is categorical grant. A categorical grant. Notice the root word is category. Okay, so a category grant. But we call them categorical grant. Flip over. All right, um, and this is a grant given for a specific purpose. This is a grant given to the states for a specific purpose. And if the states are going to take the money, they must use the money exactly as the federal government says. Categorical, very specific, must use the money exactly as the federal government says it can use it. I'll give you a couple of examples. Um, Head Start preschool programs. Head Start pre preschool programs are for low-income parents. Um, the reality is, is that if you come from a low-income family, um, there's a greater chance that you don't get as many um, you know, books read to you potentially, that you don't have your parents teaching you how to read. Um, and so they end up starting behind compared to a middle or upper middle class family where education is more valued. So the idea of Head Start was to kind of help out low-income families by having children go to Head Start and actually, you know, uh, learn. Um, there's another program called Winfant, Women, sorry, Women, Infant, Children, or WIC, and that's a nutritional welfare program. Women, Infant, Children, WIC. Again, both of these are categorical. The state has to use, do exactly what the federal government says in order to have this program. Let me show you some examples for, that I actually got right off the websites for Head Start and Women and, and for WIC. And uh, just to share with you, you don't have to write these. Uh, so this is from the WIC program. Notice very specific eligibility standards about who can have it. Um, it says women that are pregnant during pregnancy up to six weeks after the birth of an infant to the end of the pregnancy, um, postpartum up to six months after the birth of the infant, um, if they're breastfeeding up to the first birthday. So all these different requirements, residential requirements in terms of the state they live in, Income requirements are very, very specific. You know, you can, so the states can't change any of this. They have to go right along with what the state, what the federal government requires if they're going to take this grant. Um, and this is from Head Start. 
Um, children from birth to age five who are from families of incomes below the poverty guidelines are eligible for Head Start um, and early Head Start services. Children with homeless families, families receiving public assistance such as TANF or SSI are also eligible. So the, the point is here is that it's very specific about who can who can do it. And the federal government is setting a one size fits all for everybody across the country. Every state has to follow the exact guidelines set up by the federal grant. All right, done with categorical grant. Very specific. States must follow the federal guidelines. Um, uh, another grant that's become a little bit more popular in recent years, especially as Republicans have taken control of Congress, Congress uh, Republicans tend to be a little bit more um, in favor of block grants, um, 1.42. And let's talk about that. Um, these are large financial grants to states for a general need. So a grant is a large financial grant to the states for a general need. Not specific, but more generic. Um, and this is the big thing. States and local, state and local governments have wide power to spend block grants as they want. So they might give a grant for a specific purpose like education, but then the state and local governments can use it any way they see fit. And Republicans tend to be a little bit more in favor of states having latitude Whereas uh, liberals would be more in favor of, um, you know, a federal government solution, one size kind of fits all sort of deal. Um, an example of this in recent years, uh, like the local law enforcement block grant. So the topic is law enforcement, and then the community can use that however they see fit in terms of uh, law enforcement. So that that's the beginning of grants here you need to know what grant is a categorical grant and the difference between that and a block grant all right cool study them use your whiteboard write it down erase it do the practices thank you